market awareness is something that uh, market awareness is something that we talk about all the time, and people get confused because we talk about it. Market awareness is just paying attention. It's like, you know what? People say, what do you think? Well, how do you think we think what we think? Do you think I listen to anything Vanetta has to say about news? <laughs> clearly, <laughs> clearly your New Year's resolution was not to enjoy Vanetta's uh, news segment. I mean, I don't pay attention to news. Uh -huh. It's uh -huh. ridiculous to me. Uh -huh. um, I don't pay attention to what other people think about the markets because I really don't care what other people think. <laughs> um, and so I form my own opinions based on what I'm watching. Uh -huh. That's market awareness. Uh -huh. Let's go, John. Let's see what we got. As we enter the new year and reflect on the previous trading year, it's important to figure out things we can improve, like our strategies, our trading outlook in order to be more successful. One such way is increasing our market awareness. Market awareness refers to the ability to assess the entire stock market and option marketplace from a macro level. I don't actually agree with that. Having a better market awareness allows us to avoid poor decisions and to optimize are good ones. I'm actually going to, this is our research team's writing, but I'm going to say something a little bit different. I don't agree with that. I don't agree that market, that, that market tried awareness. tried to sneak that slide in there. They did try to sneak this in there. I don't quick, agree that, mar, I don't, I do not agree that market awareness has anything to do with a, being able to assess the marketplace from a macro, with a macro perspective. I don't believe that market awareness allows us to necessarily avoid poor decisions or to optimize our good ones because so much of that is random. I believe that we make really smart decisions based on our ability to understand opportunity and understand circumstance. But what market awareness does, which is not mentioned in here, but what I believe is this, really the importance of market awareness is all about engagement. The reason that I love what we do and the reason that I love trading and the reason that, you know, besides being able to make quick decisions, besides being able to, you know, essentially control all the strategies that I do and all the, all the decisions that I make is because to me, I find the markets fascinating because everybody else thinks that they know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. And I just take advantage of what I think is opportunity based on other people thinking they know when I don't think they know. So I don't think you avoid making poor decisions or optimize good decisions. I think what you do is you become fully engaged and and a little bit you're immersed in the whole in the whole like the the totality of the markets, which I think is incredibly powerful and it leads to recognizing opportunity. Let's go to the next slide. So it's going to be a little bit of a discussion here to say to put it nicely. The benefits of developing a sense of market awareness can directly lead to improvement in each of these, forming assumptions, choosing entry spots, and recognizing certain special situations. Like, hey, you know what? I'm bearish because everybody else is bullish. I'm bullish because everybody else is bearish. Choosing an entry spot is something that you you might decide, like if you were bullish on something this morning, you might want to do it because the S&P futures are down 35 handles. Sure. And if you're recognizing that's unusual just opportunity, right? Yeah, if you're recognizing unusual movements, that's just like, hey, you know what? There's some crazy moves today, like in Bitcoin for whatever. Mm -hmm. So maybe if you're looking to get short, or you know, lighten up on a position. Yeah, if you're looking to get short, movement. Riot or Mara or you know, Coin, mm -hmm. maybe on today's opening is a good. That's an unusual movement. Let's go to the next slide. Not that you can draw a. You don't know what's going to happen next. It's just an unusual movement. So. To begin building market awareness, it's helpful to develop a longer-term opinion of market direction. I think that helps. I'm a big fan of of like trying to guess market extremes. It doesn't always work, but at least you start to learn about things like interest rate movements, yield curve inversions, currency movements, um, vol curve analysis. What what are we looking at? You know, are we in contango? Are we in backwardation? What does the vol curve look like? You know, going out two, three, six months a year, all that kind of stuff. Next slide, please. So next is to watch the futures products daily. They help provide a broad sense. Um, to market action. That's absolutely true. We do not watch the SPY, GLD, TLT, or USO. Those are ETFs. We watch uh, the futures markets because the futures markets have the, the most depth 
and the highest leverage. So that's what attracts the first dollar. So the people that want to buy the S&P, the first thing they're going to do is they're going to buy the ES futures, not the SPY. If you want to buy gold, you're going to buy GC, not GLD. So it's, you know, it's a little bit of what comes first. It's just because of the ease of it, right? Yeah, the just because ease. Of it. The depth of market, the leverage. That's right. The liquidity. We're going to watch the futures. So ES, GC, ZB, CL. Next slide, please. And watching many underlyings is helpful because what it does is it teaches you um, to, it, it, it basically trains your eyes to watch what the market's doing. So you can choose a watch list, sort by whatever metric you want, and then develop potential trades. From that, we have a bunch of presets in there, but I have like tasty default. Right now I'm watching Tom's default, which is one of the choices on there. But there's also Bat's watch list, which is really the one you should be looking at. Be careful with that one. Um, but there's there's hundreds of watch lists built into I noticed into I was cut off right before mine, but that's okay. There's hundreds of watch lists built into Tasty. Let's go to the next slide. So market awareness is generally trying to improve our ability to have good sector awareness, fear awareness, and participant awareness. I think those are all fine. Like I said, to me, market to me, market awareness is all about engagement. There are things that can only be improved with more experience in the market, no question about it. For example, having a good idea of events that change volatility and liquidity as well as understanding industries and underlyings that we like to trade. There is no question that the more you trade something, the more comfortable you are with trading it. Doesn't mean you have any idea where it's going. I've been watching the S&Ps now. Yeah, if you can understand the risk, you, you can understand the strategy, then you can understand the position, and that might allow you to either take some heat or do something about it or close it as opposed to just open. This is correct. Let's go to the next slide. So market awareness is a skill that needs to be cultivated. I couldn't agree more. While it's not a skill that can be mastered because you cannot master knowing what's going to happen next, it is one that you can improve upon because you learn to watch more underlyings. Your eyes be, are able to focus on lots more stuff that's happening. And you won't get as crazy when something moves. The more market, less crazy you are. The following, following the points outlined today can help improve this skill and give us a better success rate in 2024. And I mean that. You, you improve.